So to start off with, you want to have your color palette ready. So here the red color is my base color for the lips. And what you want to have is three darker shades just from the same color wheel. So one is going to be really, really dark and two shades are going to be lighter than that, as you just saw. And you want to have one color from orange undertone, like some orange dark color and one pink color or maybe some bluish color. And I'll tell you why later on so i'm also going to be sharing this color palette down in the description so once you have all of the colors ready just pick up the darkest one of them all and start drawing those lip lines so i always start from the inner part of the mouth now i'm not really gonna explain the size and the structure of the lips but more so how to shade the lips so you want to keep these lines in a separate layer now you want to create a new layer just underneath it and just select your base color so i am uh, taking this red color and painting the whole lip with that color now you want to always start from the middle part of the layer and then work your way up now you want to make also make sure that the edges of the lips are not harsh at all so so there are two ways of doing that you can either blend those edges out later on or you can just slightly go over the edges with the soft airbrush that i'm using here to paint the lips and i actually recommend doing that i actually recommend painting the edges really lightly with just the brush and not using any blending tool once you have that color all over the lips you want to go back on the layer we created the lines for the lips and you want to blend those out now here you want to blend out making sure you are adding some shadows to the lips now don't worry about the lines we are going to be darkening them up later on so what i'm doing is i'm just blending out all the lines and just do not blend them all out just keep them there a little bit but yeah do go over those lines with the blending tool and also i'm using soft airbrush uh, for the blending tool as well now i'm taking the color the dark color with which we uh, drew the lines for the lips and i'm just darkening them up again now yeah just make sure you're not really going harsh on it be be really gentle and soft when you're doing this and darken them up a little bit more just you know where the corners are maybe or where the lips are kind of meeting with each other i hope that makes sense Once you are done with that, just pick up the color which is slightly lighter than the color we drew the lines with and just start drawing the shadows. Now here you want to make sure that you are drawing the shadows and some of them, some of the shadows should be harsh and some of them should be nicely blended. Now you can either use again uh, the blending tool for that or you can just do that by just using your brush. So as you can see here, I am adding the shadows here and there. Also, you want to keep in mind uh, for your painting, uh, which is the direction the light is hitting from. So also just keep that in mind and add all of those shadows. And the key here is to keep some of the shadows harsh looking and some of them nicely blended. Here I am creating a new layer and I'm picking up the orange color, the darkish orange kind of color and I'm just going over on the highest points on the lips and shading that color over that. And yeah, that is what I'm doing here. Also, you can also take a lighter red color but that doesn't look that good at all. So that is why I always suggest having some colors from the orange undertones, some from the pink undertones as well. So that is what I am doing here.
So here I'm choosing the pink color and the lightest version of it and adding it on the highest points of the lips and I'm just making sure that the color is not um, blended and at the same time it is not looking that harsh as you can see right here on the screen and the reason why I chose pink color is because you always want to pick up colors from the environment you are painting your portrait in so uh, that is the reason why I chose pink color you can choose blues you can choose purples you can choose anything so that is the key to bring out realism from the drawings or from your portrait drawing or lips drawing anything of that sort so i hope that really makes sense so here i'm creating a new layer just above all of the layers and i am changing the color layer mode to color dodge and i'm picking up the base color the red base color and i'm going over where i think i should be highlighting the lips now this is a really good key before you go in with the white colored highlights and you're gonna see that in a minute also always try and highlight under the upper lip it makes the whole lip look really really glossy and realistic So now you want to create a new layer again and make sure you're not changing the layer mode, keep it to normal and pick up white color and using the soft airbrush, making sure the size of the brush is minimum as you can see on the screen, I am creating these small dots to create that really glossy and highlighted look and also I am just going over wherever I think you know I should be highlighting the lips. So just to make them look much more glossy as you can see here. So really work your way up with it. So just take your time and add those little dots. So the key here is not to give away all of the pigmentation of the color right away. Rather just build that up and making sure you're going over the lips with a white color really light handed in the first go and then you can you know just go ahead and give those highlights more pigmentation with a white color i hope that makes sense so once you are happy with the look of the lips just go ahead and pick up a darker skin color and add that color just underneath the lips just to create some shadow and to add depth to the lips and you also might want to add the sh uh, the skin shadow or the darker skin color right around the mouth and also above the cupid's bow Now once you are done with that, you want to pick up white color and you want to highlight just above the cupid's bow and on the sides of the mouth as you will see on the screen in a minute. So that is it for today's tutorial you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful and if you did, please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I post every Monday and Thursday and also if you do create something out of my tutorials, please make sure to tag me on Instagram and I will link it, link it down in the description as well and I will see you guys the next time.